The city of Galkayo, about 720 kilometers north of Magdishu, has been severely impacted by the heavy rains affecting many parts of East Africa. Homes have been destroyed and livelihoods ruined. When flash flood hit one of its cemeteries, local residents were quick to protect the remains of their loved ones. A lot of graveyards have been destroyed, but bodies have been removed and are buried in other cemeteries. We removed the body of my late uncle, who was a very popular religious scholar, a week ago and buried him in another location. Also, as you can see, there are people digging graves to remove the bodies of their loved ones and take them to another graveyard. Those living near the graveyards have also been forced to move. However, as they look to ensure the minimal impact to their own lives, they understand their responsibility to those who cannot move. We're calling upon people to protect the graveyards because the dead deserve the same respect as the living. Those who have a life can escape the flooding, but the dead cannot. Therefore, we need to safeguard them by providing necessary care, including protecting the cemetery from floods and sewerage water. However, their actions don't seem to be too popular with local religious leaders, who are urging residents to exercise extreme caution. People should rebuild the graveyards without removing the bodies inside. In Islam, it's recommended to bury bodies with soil and without other additional building materials. And that is how followers of the Prophet did it. The increased rainfall in the region is being blamed on the climatic phenomenon El Nino, which has intensified in recent weeks in several states. The UN Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs says it's likely that the flooding will get worse before it gets better. Until it clears up, however, the people of Galkayo will keep working to honor the memory of their loved ones. Hamid Kahil, CGT and Mogadishu, Somalia.